Hello, everybody. Um, this is DFSJN coming to you here to talk about August 5th, League of Legends uh, DFS Slate. Um, we have another banger, board gamer, uh, here with us today. Um, as mentioned, you know, uh, these teams are trying to push for the playoffs. Um, you know, I'll talk, talk a little bit about the playoff implications for each team in my matchup you know, analysis and predictions, but they do really matter um, for these teams, um, you know, to stay focused and not drop a game and not be in a letdown position, you know, that, you know, these, some, some of these elite teams often find themselves in. So yeah, without any further ado, let's dive in. Um, the first game in the LPL, there's not much to analyze. <laughs> Top Esports is a favorite at minus 2000 against LGD. Another big uh, favorite um, in the LPL. Yeah, I'm fully confident that TES should win this. Um, I mean, if LGD somehow like pulls this off, um, they'll probably be the highest scoring team because TES always tries to come back by um, engaging in team fights. And I'm sure LGD is the same way. Um, if they win, it's going to be through team fights, not through objectives. Their macro game is not very good. Um, and their team synergy hasn't been very good for LGD. Um, vice, you know, they, they've been kind of experimenting with different combinations and permutations with their roster. So, but um, for whatever reason, if you think LGD pulls it off, I would definitely make them long stack. Um, but you know, like 9.9 .9 out of 10 times, I think TES should win this matchup. I mean, in every single lane, uh, every single lane, TES has an advantage. So I won't, you know, uh, that's probably all I'm going to say in terms of the kill upside. Yeah, I mean, TES is bloody. As mentioned, OGD is bloody as well. Um, I like TES to win 2-0. to zero. Um, The over-under here for this matchup was 25. Um, combined kills per minute was at point, point 0.77. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. So I would definitely, you know, not be hesitant playing TES today. The next matchup in China is very interesting, though. Um, it's more of a coin flip um, toss-up here between BLG and OMG. Technically, OMG is a slight favorite at minus 140, um, and BLG is an underdog at plus 110. I've thought a lot about this one. Um, I'm, I mean, to be honest with you, I'll definitely have exposure to both teams. Um, OMG has been a better team, in my opinion. I know they've been up and down, a um, little, little inconsistent. They've been beating some good teams and losing to bad teams. But same for BLG. And BLG has been playing, you know, with different combinations of players. Uh, but now with Weiwei, Icon, and Doggo starting, back in the starting lineup, um, having a few series under their belt um, together. I think BLG definitely has what it takes to beat OMG, but um, OMG, I like OMG's chances better um, than BLG's today because of Shanji in the top lane. Um, how BLG has been winning games, if when they win, um, it, it's been through um, Ben, Bin's map pressure. They put a lot of resources in Bin early game, mid game for Bin to carry or just split push and puts map, prep, map pressure on so that the rest of the team can win 4v4 or 4v5 um, if they need it to, right? So really Bin has Bin has to create map pressure for BLG to win. That's how I understand their win conditions. Um, I know Weiwei has been playing pretty well. Um, and I know Icon has been a better uh, mid laner um, then be, uh, for BLG, Doggo and Crisp hasn't really haven't impressed me at all. Um, so like I said, having Shanji for OMG, who's been playing really well, he's been their best player, in my opinion, for OMG. I like Shanji to, to neutralize uh, Ben's um, um, map pressure in the top lane. And I do think he will handle that pretty well. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is for, for OMG is Aki in jungle. He has not been the best player. Like, really, he's been the worst player, frankly, for OMG. Um, but he is versatile in, their, in his champion pool, so maybe that will be um, 
you know, his gameplay is mitigated by the fact that he is willing to play any champion that is probably, um, you know, better suited uh, based on the combination and the team composition that OMG likes to play based on the other teammates uh, champions. So I like that about Aki, but he's really hasn't been a good jungler. And I think Weiwei is a better jungler, um, has been a better jungler this split. Um, so that's that's the only thing I'm a little worried about. But every single other lane, Cream, Abel, and Cold have much been better have been much better than Icon, Doggo, and Crisp. Um, especially Cream. Um, you know, a, a, opposing teams when they play against OMG, they've been banning like Zeri and Yumi, like the standard typical bans. But when Cream gets like Akali or Silas, somebody more aggressive, um, he can carry that team to victory. And I feel like that could happen again today, which, you know, naturally makes Cream a good DFS play, I think. Um, and I think he will have an advantage over Icon. And then in the bottom lane, Abel and Cold have been decent. I wouldn't say good or great. Um, they've been decent. But Doggo and Crisp has been really bad. Um, I think that's more of a wash. I think, in my opinion, whoever gets an early game advantage should you know, should be, should be winning that lane, uh, lane matchup. Um, so I just feel like cream is going to be, have to be the reason to kind of push for victory, uh, to carry that team. Whereas Shanji will, I think, neutralize Ben in the top lane and kind of, you know, helps his teammates to alleviate any map pressure around the, you know, any pressure around the map and around objectives. So I like OMG to win two to one. Um, but like I said, BLG is a live dog. BLG has been playing a little better um, after they, you know, injected back way, way Icon and Doggo in the starting lineup after they got benched. Um, but I like OMG's form better and I like their matchup today against BLG. And that this matchup is actually uh, projected to be the highest kill upside matchup, um, most bloody matchup of the day as you can see over under is set at 26 so combined kills per minute 0.79 so you really want to get a piece of this game um, based on that kill upside um, and i'm picking omg to win in my prediction but blg can definitely upset you know this matchup and in terms of um for the lpl before i transition to lck i do want to show you the standings and kind of talk about the playoffs implications so as you see, TES really need to need to win this one um, to kind of battle for the first seed. I think um, JDG has been playing well, and you know, top esports is challenging, challenging, uh, challenging that first spot, um, and they're playing against you know a bottom tier team <laughs> in LGD. So who? It's technically still alive, but no, I mean, I hate, they're, they've been really bad. So and then BLG OMG is an interesting dynamic here. As you see, OMG is seven and seven in the eighth spot. And then BLG is still alive technically. So both teams really need this win. Um, so I think both teams are very, very well motivated to play well. Um, I think BLG's chances are good, but I like OMG's chances better. All right, in the LCK, it's DRX versus Dongshim, um, Damwon Kia versus Gen G. The odds are very similar for you know for both matchups. Um, I'll first dive into the DRX Nongshim one. Um, Nongshim has been really bad, um, like really bad. <laughs> I think they're gonna. I you know I'm a for those of you who may not know I'm an LCK fanatic, so I keep up with everything that's been, you know. Uh, going around for each team and Nongshim just has been a disaster this entire split an entire season um, I know they brought on Kana during the offseason um, and I know they just brought up sort of Snowflower um, for the support position but Ghost is not the answer at 80 carry and BDD's um, you know offseason signing has not been good as well um, it's just it's just a mess. Um, so I do think the RX should win the series. Um, Nongshim is definitely talented on its paper, you know, on, on the paper that you know they can win a game probably just based on the skill sets. Um, but like I said, DRX has been playing pretty well. I mean, I think they've been playing well enough 
to be a playoff team. Um, and I think they really, really need this win to stay in the playoff hunt. Um, Zika has been playing lights out for that team. Um, and I think he will take full advantage of BDD to here tonight. So I, I'm, I have DRX to win two to two to one. And then that one, Kia versus Gen G. Um, I know people are kind of like over overhyped about Damon Kia and like remember how good they were before. Um, but Gen G's just oh, on another level this year. Uh, you know, Gen G just beat T1. Um, now they're, you know, they have claimed the soul. Uh, first seed right here. Um, I mean, they still need to keep winning to hold on to that first seed uh, because T1's coming back up, um, beating other teams. But um, I mean, you, you see the metrics for Gen G. It's been crazy. Like you see the, you know, GSPD, which, you know, gold spent uh, percentage. I mean, almost plus 10% difference between Gen G and Dawan Kia. And Dawan Kia is no joke. Yeah, I'll tell you that. But Genji, like I said, their metrics are on another level, and Peanut has been link, playing really well, and then Ruler, obviously, and Chovy. I mean, it's a really good team. So I, I think Genji wins here tonight. Um, like I said, they need to win this, and they've been in much better form. And Damwon Kia in their last series, man, they look really bad. They they look real shaky. Um, I know Bible started last game, so there's a good chance that Kellen might come back here at support. Um, I know Kellen was struggling with COVID and same for Showmaker. So we'll see how they um, play here tonight. Uh, maybe hopefully they they have recovered um, from COVID. But um, I don't think that really matters against Genji, who's been lights out. Um, I think Genji is going to win here tonight. So and the kill upside. Yeah, I mean, it's LCK games, um, especially when two elite teams or two great teams meet each other like this. That one, Kia and Genji. Um, they've been historically low in kills, um, trying to focus on macro games and uh, objectives. So they don't really engage in the many team fights. Um, so I think it's going to be low. Um, I don't know how many, how much, you know, exposure I'll have to Genji um, or Damon Kia, but uh, it's going to be the lowest one here. And then this is going to be low as well for DRX and Nongshim, not as low as the Genji Damon Kia, but um, definitely lower than um, the LPL matchup. So again, I think I'm recommending that LPL uh, matchups are the way to go for optimal lineups. Um, but, you know, crazier things have happened before. So anyway, so if you like the video tonight, um, please hit the like button below. Um, those likes uh, really get us going and motivate me to keep, you know, recording these types of videos every night. Um, but also, uh, this video has been sponsored by uh, TrueDFS. Um, so come check out TrueDFS on their channel, on YouTube, and on Twitter. Um, but also come check out my Patreon, where I share my exact uh, match predictions um, and some rationales, and also, you know, uh, my favorite prize picks uh, plays. Um, so, yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know, and, you know, I'll be up for a while. So, yeah, come holler at me at DFS Chan and. Have a good one and good luck out there. Bye-bye.